Hello, Lopo from Best for Garden, and I want to show you today a few ways how to get uh, more crops and better crops, bigger plants, uh, just by supplying more air to the roots. Um, so one thing we have in here, it's called perlite. This uh, bag in here is 100 liter bag. Yet I can lift it with uh, one hand. It's a very very light material. Show you how light you see it can fly with the wind. And what it does actually, because it's so light and on this grade, it can hold uh, quite a lot of air for that plants can get it through the through the roots, and they they'll grow bigger and better. Um, what's good about this perlite? You see, I'll give you a few tips about the perlite. But first, what's good about it? It can retain very well water and air at the same time so uh, it's the way it works is a bit like a sponge and uh, what's amazing it's got massive impact on the plants growth there are lots of uh, big nurseries they they use that uh, they grow in uh, even 100 percent uh, perlite and uh, it's enabled them to get in a small container massive plants one, 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 another point about the perlite, or the ba bad point about the perlite, it's completely uh, inertic. It hasn't got any um, any organic matter in it like that, so it doesn't hold uh, nutrition nutrients in, in in it. And this is why I prefer to mix it with some more organic matter. Uh, ideally. You want to have something like between at least 50% perlite, maybe even 80%, and the rest uh, organic matter, uh, as such as compost, uh, compost or any uh, uh, soil for uh, pots that you have. Um, but just don't mix it with heavy soil or things like that, as it's just gonna um, go inside it and gonna lose its impact um, if you look at the bag it says that the, it's actually another use for it is uh, for insulation and it's actually another another thing that help growing better plants because it, it will keep the roots warmer if it's during the evening if it's uh, extending your season grow uh, your growing season sorry um, your growing season in, in cold countries yeah so one more tip about it if you if you do buy a big bag like this one which we supply by the way um, it's a trick that I learned from a partner of mine we used to do lots of uh, um, projects on roof gardens so we, we try to uh, get trees and big plants, big bushes on someone's balcony or the could be 20, 30 floors uh, high building. Um, so getting the soil in there it will, could be a, a, a big job going through the leaf. Sometimes it goes through the people houses. So you, you we were, we were always looking for uh, something light. Also the weight coming in there perlite can be great for that because it's so light so we use that to get these big plants in small fairly small containers and uh, so so one tip is yeah use it where you need to grow bigger plants in small containers when you're looking for low weight uh, containers the other thing is it may have some dust in it especially in uh, as you can see in here so one trick you can do, I learned that from my partner, uh, just cut a small hole, take the hose in, so you can wet it all, and then you you can avoid all the dust of it, because this dust is really not healthy things to have, uh, to breathe. Okay, let me show you one more thing, you can get that here in the UK, this is what it is, for the ones that don't know it's called expanded clay 
it's got different uh, different um, commercial name but again this is very very light it's actually uh, made by firing clay so um, again it's got all the same uh, the same benefits as the perlite uh, plus uh, we'll talk about another benefit you can use it as mulching on the top because this one won't fly with the wind while the perlite if that's going to be on top it might just fly in the wind um, yes yeah, so this is another excellent material you can mix it you can use it as part of the mix with the perlite and the uh, and your soil what you can see in here in this raised bed is actually again a, a media that a medium just a compost for pots that I mixed two years ago with um, coir. Coir is another another material made from the fibers of the coconut what you can see around the coconuts and now after initially the coir look more like that fibers initially now after two years you can see it's got more into part of the soil it's, it's break down a bit so it's in here um, and that's actually bring me back to these these two but they they won't disappear they won't like organic matter if you use uh, chip box or other things they, they just disappear after a few years break down into uh, into the soil and, and the perlite and vermiculite and the expanded clay the whole material that's gonna last there thank you if you want to read more about it visit our website thank you bye bye hope you're gonna grow massive big crops bye bye